Alchua County Jail records show nine people between the ages of 20 and 26 were booked Monday night between 10, 16 and 11, 12 p.m. Various charges include failure to obey police, resisting arrest without violence, wearing a hood or mask on public property. Hang on. Wearing a hood or mask on public property. Let me ask you a question. Since when is that actually a crime? I mean, people want to protect themselves, especially since we just got through, uh, we're you know, still enduring the remainder of a pandemic. So, I mean, why, why is wearing a mask on public property, why is that a crime? Isn't it a free country, especially on public property? Uh, it's, it, it's a doozy folks. Um, I think that this is going to be something that is, uh, is coming to a head, especially, um, what's going on, especially in Florida. Uh, Ron DeSantis made uh, a statement the other day. And I really just want to share this first because Ron DeSantis does not believe in free speech. He says he does, but when push comes to shove, he does not. And here's an example of Ron DeSantis really not being the free speech advocate that he says he is. Let's take a look. Uh, you think about what happened when you have these Hamas demonstrators out. They're taking. First of all, hang on. Let's stop. Let's stop running, Ron, right there. All right. So, Florida man says Hamas demonstrators. Where in the world do they say that they support Hamas? Where have they had. You ever heard them chant anything about Hamas? Absolutely not. Now, when they are protesting the genocide going on in Gaza, when they say free, free Palestine, that has nothing to do with advocating for Hamas. So let's let's dispense with that there, because this is this is an example of a politician lying to you. Yes, lying. He's a politician. Mind you, I would not accept much from a guy that was involved in torture, allegedly, at Guantanamo Bay. I, 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 I wouldn't listen to him. Because if he's willing to do crimes against humanity against people in Guantanamo Bay, not a good person, not a good person to really listen to when it comes to things like this. Let's continue because <clears throat> I just wanted to stop with there. All right. Ow. They're taking over bridges and they're taking over roads. That uh is called civil disobedience. Oh, oh my God, I can't even get through this. But that's called civil disobedience. So here's Ronnie having a problem with protesters committing civil disobedience, would Ron DeSantis say the th same thing about when civil rights leaders took over the Edmund Pettus Bridge? I think it was in Memphis. Was it Memphis? I get my, I get my cities and states wrong. I apologize. But the Edmund Pettus Bridge AKA Bloody Sunday, would he be the governor that actually six the police on them? Because they did civil disobedience. I thought that was free speech. Let's continue. Florida man got more to say. Um, and first of all, you don't have a right to do that. 
you have someone get stuck in traffic. How do you know if someone, someone may need to get to a hospital, someone may need. They would be in an ambulance, most likely. Need to pick up a child somewhere and you're just gonna commandeer the road uh, because you're, you, you have this, uh, this ideological prediction. They tried to do that in Miami and what happened? In 10 minutes, they got dragged off the road where they belonged. And we're not going to tolerate that. You look at. Now, if it were something that he was for, like, for instance, the mandates, and I'm not going to go even deeper into saying, you know, the C word, but would he say the same thing about when people wanted to protest about mandates? See, it's always rules for thee, but not for me when it comes to people like Ron DeSantis. Right? Dear God. And, and while I'll say this, while I'm not necessarily in favor of mandates, right? This is, I'm pointing out the hypocrisy between somebody like Ron DeSantis. And how does he feel about J6? When you had a whole bunch of, you know, great value Peter Parkers climbing the walls of the Capitol. What does he say about that? You see, he, he wants to talk about them, but he doesn't want to talk about his, you know, you know, his, his, his comrades who decided to take a tour through the Capitol. Okay? Oh, Lord. Ronnie, Ronnie, what are we going to do with you? You look at these universities. We, when we have students who are doing things that, I mean, look, some of the stuff with the Hamas, I think is absurd that someone would go out and, and demonstrate on that. But they're not demonstrating for Hamas. Ronald, get your facts straight. Dear God, who listens to this guy? Oh my gosh. Has he even talked to any of the protesters? No. But, you know, when you're chasing Jewish students around, when you're. That is also false. That is not true. Ron is lying to you. In fact, in fact, a huge portion of those protesters are Jewish. They are Jewish protesting the genocide going on in Gaza. Oh my Lord. If you listen to this, mm, I'm trying not to cuss. You're not letting a, a Jewish professor enter a building when you're targeting people like that. That's not that's not free speech. I mean, th that's harassment. That violates appropriate conduct. And again, they're not protesting Jewish people. They're protesting a illegal occupation and a, a overwhelmingly aggressive, ex you know, and horrible genocide that is going on in Gaza as we speak right now simply because they don't like seeing people murdered and having their land taken away and an apartheid system being imposed upon them. That's exactly why they are protesting. And yet at Columbia, at Yale, all these places, those guys, those folks rule the roost. They do. If they rule the roost, then why in the Hang on. Let me, let me get bigger for a second. Hang on. Then why in the world are police in there being violent towards them? Ronald? Whatever they want. And, and these administrators... And the presidency's universities are weak. 
Uh, they're scared and they don't do anything. You know, you do that in Florida at, at our universities, we're showing you the door. You're going to be expelled uh, when you're doing that stuff. And you know what? The minute people start to face consequences, you are not going to see uh, this nonsense going on. Uh, you so when students want to camp out, They can't do it for that particular reason. They can't do it for the reasons of protesting the genocide. So if you're against students protesting the genocide, then Ronald, what does that make you pro? What does that make you? Hmm. I'm gonna share this. I think this is important because there is a point that is made. Hang on. I want to share this because this is, be prepared to laugh, y'all. When Ron DeSantis says that, oh my God, they're chasing Jewish students off the off of campus, and he's making it seem like, oh my God, I can't believe this. this they're, they're so violent out there, and they're just they're committing all this atrocities to people. And... Let me share you all this. This is from Hotspot. It says Karen has a breakdown because she stumbled across the Palestine protest at Northwestern. While walking her dog, the protesters repeatedly tell her that she's fine and no one threatens her or blocking her way while she pleads with police, insisting she needs help. Let's let's take a listen to this. Oh, remix. All right. This is not in time to play. Nobody is going to hurt them. Nobody is going to attack them. This person is not in harm's way. They are free to leave. Nobody is going to hurt them. Nobody is going to attack them. This person is not in harm's way. Yes, they're right behind me right now. They're going to find me. This person is not in harm's way. I need genocide. I need help. I know that, but they're all they're surrounding me. Let me move. No, no, you are free to move. You are free to move. She is free to move. You are free to move. She's free to move. She's free to leave. She is free to leave. No one is surrounding her. She is free to leave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Students telling you that you're free to leave, ma'am. Free. Emphasis on the free to walk away. And yet she's trying to make it sound like she's being held hostage by a bunch of students. Girl, if you don't get out of here with all that. And these are the people that Ron DeSantis are listening to. These are the people that Ron DeSantis say, oh my God, they're under threat. Here she is with her puppy in hand going, oh my God, I think, and she's not even, she's not even in distress. She's just like, hi, yes, they're not allowing me to leave. Oh no, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. I am in danger. I want to cuss so bad. I want to cuss. Because this lady is full of it. Full of it. And they're literally saying, ma'am, you're free to go. Who's blocking her path? Look, look, look back there. Look behind her. Who's blocking her? Look, I don't see... Nobody, baby, blocking her. And yet, 
I also find it funny that she's wearing an Adidas sweater. Weren't Adidas Nazis? Let's continue. There's a university of students. And they're, they're now they're surrounding me. I can take a She's free to leave. No one is surrounding her. No one is surrounding her. No one is surrounding her. I'm just walking my dog. I need help. She's free to leave. I'm just walking my dog. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just walking my dog. I need help. Oh no. I'm just walking my dog. I I need help. 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 Oh. The pain. The hiding. Oh Jesus. Jeez Louise. Man, look, she can't even act like she's in trouble. She can't even act it right. At least give us a performance. Like, dear God, lady. Hell, your dog is doing a better job than you. Oh, I need help. Jesus, Lord, help me. And the award goes to... I'm a Jewish American. I need help. <laughs> Please come and help me. Please, please. I'm wearing a white Adidas shirt. I have a dog with me. I need help. These are the people that Ron DeSantis is listening to. Meanwhile, a few months ago, you had three Palestinian students that were literally shot and nearly died. One is now paralyzed for the rest of his life because they're Palestinian. You had, a little pal you had a little Palestinian Muslim boy that was stabbed to death 26 times in Chicago, right? You have students, particularly some black students that are standing in solidarity with Palestinians in colleges that are literally getting expelled, suspended, and getting doxxed for standing against genocide, and yet she's in danger. Wow. Wow. My God. She can't even give crocodile tears because she's, you know? And I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna play this because of what she says, but I'm gonna let y'all read it, okay? This is from uh Alien from Space it says female Israeli supporter at UCLA wishes this word on students outside the UCLA encampment today. So, this lady, I'm not playing it because, well, I don't want to get a strike on the tube. But y'all read the word. So, it, you know, That's just one example of what we're seeing on college campuses with people who are on the other side that are counter protests. Um, there is this as well. And I'm setting all this up to share what is going on here in University of Florida. But this lady decided to go to a campus and try to ask 
the students who are protesting um, and it didn't go the way she wanted it to. So let's go. Do you mind if I enter? We've been seeing all over the news, all the craziness that's happening on college campuses, especially at UCLA. So I decided to come here for myself. Do you mind if I interview? I'm not going to talk to media. Excuse me, do you guys want to tell me what's going on here? No, sorry. I'm not, not letting any media. Just okay, we were just standing outside, just trying to. Are we allowed to ask you guys a few questions? About a lot of us just don't feel comfortable. I can direct you to the media liaison. Um, we're not going to. Um, we're not going to interview with you today. We're not going to engage with people that are going to be pushing us. Never seen anything like this in my life. No, I just that are allowed yeah. to talk to one of our media. They won't speak to me. No one will speak to me. There's a desk over there with me. I've spoken to them. them. They won't speak to me. Well, then we can try again. I've tried. And this lady specifically is yeah, telling me I'm an agitator. Don't engage with agitators. I'm just trying to understand what you're protesting. For some reason, no one from your guys' team will let you guys speak. And I don't know why you guys can't speak to me. And like, this is so intimidating and scary for you guys to be standing here. I literally have walked around for the past two hours just asking peaceful questions. Like, what's going on here today? Why are you guys here? And no one can speak to me. And you guys are laughing. I don't understand how this is funny. I genuinely wanted to learn from you. And I wish we could have ended in a hug. That's actually what I hoped from this. That's my dream from all of this. That we could understand each other. <laughs> I think we need more barricade, guys. <laughs> right there at the end, that was the part that sent me to the far plane. Like, uh, we need more barricades, guys. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? Um this lady is lacking self-awareness because the, the thing is, is that she automatically thinks that, well, she should be owed an answer from them when in reality, they do not owe her an answer at all whatsoever. On top of it, you see how they stood there and they kept their mouth shut and they just said like, no. I wish some of y'all at Columbia University did the same thing with AOC. I think you guys need to, you guys need to do same things with a lot of these politicians. If they have a D in front of their name, or even if there are people like Bernie Sanders, lock them out. Do not engage with them. Do not let them in. Do not get photo ops. No, absolutely not. For those of you who are in Columbia University, I think you guys can learn a lesson from this. When the way they treated this woman is the way you guys need to treat all the other politicians too. Unless they're ones that are actually trying to, you know, advocate for ending the apartheid and ending the genocide, you know, like some of these third party candidates are. Okay, yeah, fine. But Ones like AOC, who literally switched her no vote for the Iron Dome to uh, a, a no, uh, not voting, or she voted present, then no, she does not get the opportunity to have dialogue with you, right? And on top of that, she's supporting Joe Biden, who is funding this genocide in the first place? No, absolutely not. You do not allow people like her around. Same thing, people who are not honest actors like that lady. You shut them out. Um, and then on top of it, she decided to discuss it as well, which I'm just like, really? decided to come out and talk about it. Her name is Montana. Jeez Louise. And let's go into that really quick. Her name is Montana Tucker. Because, okay, so she was at UCLA. Here's what she says. Hi guys, 
so as you guys all know, since the seventh, I've been incredibly strong and fearless, honestly. And I've, you know, went to Israel and I've shown up at all the rallies and protests and post every day. And I'm not scared of anything and I don't let anything get to me. And I'm, I, I'm strong for myself, for my family, for all of you. But today at UCLA really, really got to me um, to see all these people being so brainwashed and really be like a cult. It was, it was a full cult there. They're camping out. And when I ask them, hang on, she says a cult. Yet, a pro-Israel protester was wishing sexual assault on protesters that were protesting against genocide. Oh, and, and the people who are against genocide is in a cult. Sure, Jen. Peacefully and nicely, why are they here and what are they what are they protesting and what ma'am, you already know why. There's no reason for you to wonder why they're they're out there because they are peaceful and they are protesting and they've made the demands known. So therefore, to wonder why, why are you guys out there? You know why. So therefore, to ask that question, to go out there and ask that question, they have they put the answer out there to you. And also, they don't owe you an answer. Entitlement much? message so they want to get out to the world. I was extremely kind and nice and I, I took all of my my Israel Jewish jewelry off and literally was just trying to learn and understand. They all sounded like robots and they would just say, you have to talk to our media liaison. We won't speak to you. We don't speak to intruders. We don't speak to perpetrators. We don't speak to um, violators or I forgot the exact words that they kept calling me. I have it all. Hang on. You know what she sounds like to me? She sounds like one of those dudes that's like, I'm a nice guy. So just because I'm a nice guy, that means I'm entitled to the attention of women. You're being nice just so that you can feel entitled to the attention of women. In fact, instead of actually being nice as an actual virtue. So you're being nice just because you feel like you're owed some attention or response from the people who are protesting. Like, no, you're not owed that. So stop it. Cause you're coming at it from an incel type of angle. Like, stop it, ma'am. Like, what are you doing? It's weird. Let's continue. On, on film. And I literally was so nice just trying to understand them and, and ask them why they are there. And they couldn't speak to me. And then finally they barricaded me. They had like 50 students come with their arms around each other, all fully covered and staring at me. And they wouldn't let me even walk by, even though it's public property and they wouldn't even let me walk by. And I literally tried to have a conversation with them saying, I'm really trying to learn and understand you guys. Please tell me. They started barricading. Look, if you want to learn Montana, look, there's Max Blumenthal. There's Abby Martin, there's Katie Halper, there's Norm Finkelstein, there's Miko Paled, right? You really want to learn, there are Jewish voices that you can literally listen to. Hell, you, if you want to go to a politician, somebody that's running for office, you got Dr. Jill Stein, right? You got Jeffrey Sachs, who just endorsed Dr. Jill Stein. You have so many people who are Jewish just like you who you can actually learn from. But you weren't there for that.
That's the point. You weren't there for that. You wanted to argue. You wanted, it wasn't about we trying to find out what's going on. And there are plenty of people you could have asked. There are many resources that you could have went, but you didn't go to those resources. You decided to try to engage with them. Many people. There are countless independent media channels that have had these people on. Hell, I had Gaijin Girl on. She's a Jewish woman in New York, right? You could go to Lee Camp's channel. He's a Jewish guy that's against this apartheid and genocide. You can actually listen to Eleanor Goldfield on this. Noah Krejcevich. He's Jewish and against this, this genocide. There's so many people. And yet you're crying because they won't talk to you? I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot because it's annoying. She's making me itch. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's continue. Kidding me and uh, what in what? Uh, I'm done with her. Let's continue and let's share what's going on right now at University of Florida. Because uh it's getting on my nerves. Um plus she's she's annoying me. Um I wanna share. Let me see. I have it here. Let me see. What's going on in Florida? I have it over here. Whoop. Sorry, guys, I had it. Um, man, I posted a lot over the weekend. All right, so. I'll share, I'll share it this way. All right, so. Let me share what's going on. Actually, let me share this really quick before I go into this. Uh, so when people talk about the anti-genocide protesters that are in solidarity with Palestine, this is what they consider to be violent to them. This is what they consider to be, you know, against uh, Jewish people, which I'm willing to bet that there's a bunch of Jewish people in that line right now. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, we, I spotted a Jewish guy right there in the middle with the yarmulke on. So yes, there are Jewish people there. Also protesting genocide. There's a, I'm going to tell you right now, there are a lot of Jewish people protesting genocide. A lot. And they're doing it peacefully. And they are censoring the voices of Palestinian people who are speaking out against it. And that is solidarity. That is love, and they're doing it in a very peaceful way. All right, let's continue. The students are not treated the same. Yeah. 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 Holding the line is effective. We have shown already that they. <laughs> so that's going on there. Now, I want to share this that's going on in Florida because they're doing some work on the ground right now. Okay. 
Okay. So I'll send you guys the link to this. It's their Instagram page. It's called the UF Divestment Coalition. So this is them. So they're doing legal defense and uh, bail funds. And they're literally camping out and having a liberation zone there as well. So I want to share this because this is uh, University of Florida Police Department and state troopers. So. Okay, so uh, it says, we are appalled by the University of Florida's response to peaceful protesters and occupiers in the Plaza of Americas this evening. After changing the rules and regulations several times over the last two days and being unable to cite university policy, University of Florida Police Department distributed a new and vague list of lot of active activities to restrict our movement. So, this is what's going on here. Um, trying to see if I can. No, I'm trying to scroll down if it'll allow me. It's not allowing me to scroll down. Um, but this is what's going on, and they are literally camping out. The University of Florida, and they are doing basically what's going on across the nation. Uh, it says last night, university police intimidated students occupying the liberation zone by telling them they could not sleep or face arrest. We stand against police intimidation. Today, police have moved their definitions of regulations, trying to make legal occupation of the zone seem impossible. We know it's not. So that's what's going on. So. So that's what they're doing right now. And this is all going on in Gainesville as we speak, because that's where the University of Florida campus is. And so there was something that I wanted to share with you guys as well. Uh, let me let me see if I can find it here. Because there was a, a interesting point that was made by one of the University of Florida students that I think is necessary. Ah, here it is. This wasn't University of Florida. This was University of Connecticut. I'm sorry. But it's interesting nonetheless. I want to share this because a lot of times uh, a lot of universities are okay with this, but when it comes to this subject, they're not. So this is says UConn, what University of Connecticut was fine with people camping for basketball. Meaning that when it comes to camping out for things like basketball or any other sports activity, they're fine with that. But camping out to pressure their school to stop investing or to divest, as it were, from Israel is where they draw the line. So really, it's Oh, we care about free speech, but for only these particular issues, it's never across the board. And so as you can see, it's going on in UConn, 
that's going on in University of Florida, all over. And honestly, they just do not care. Now, uh, let's go into how there were nine protesters arrested also as well. So let me go to this article here. <laughs> All right. And let's enlarge it. Continue the site. This is out of the Gainesville Sun. All right, so nine protesters arrested at pro-Palestinian demonstration on University of Florida campus. So it says nine protesters were arrested by law enforcement Monday evening as pro-Palestinian demonstration continued on the Plaza of the Americas at the University of Florida. The detained protesters were walked over by a nearby Peabody Hall. As of 9 p.m., access to that building was blocked off by police. At least 20 officers were in that area. The officers were from the Gainesville Police Department, the University of Florida Police Department, and the Florida Highway Patrol. Protesters were yelling at police during the detainment process. The road between the Plaza of the Americas and the University Auditorium was blocked off by police. The center of the plaza, as of 8 p.m., still held about 75 protesters. Messages written in chalk on the sidewalk said, it's not war, it's genocide, and UF divest now. Protesters have gathered at the Plaza since Wednesday. They have complained that the University of Florida has enacted unfair rules and restrictions. University of Florida told The Sun last week that while peaceful protests were constitutionally protected, camping, putting up structures, disruptive act academic activity, or threatening others on university property is strictly prohibited. University of Florida also said that the rules being enforced have been placed in place for years. Monday night, University of Florida spokesman Steve Orlando issued another statement. This is not complicated. The University of Florida is not a daycare, and we do not treat protesters like children. They knew the rules, they broke the rules, and they'll face consequences. For many days, we have patiently told protesters, many of whom are outside agitators, that they were able to exercise their right to free speech and free assembly. It says we also told them that clearly prohibited activities were the results of trespassing order from UPD, barring them from all university properties for three years and an interim suspension from the university. For days, UPD patiently and consistently reiterated the rules. Today, the individuals who refused to comply were arrested after UPD gave multiple warnings and multiple opportunities to comply. So it's a group of protesters gathered just before 9 p.m. in front of the police station outside Peabody Hall. Chants include Let Them Go and UFPD, KKK, IDF, they are all the same. It says at the same time, time, protesters were seemingly unaware that the nine people detained were chained together and being loaded into an uh, Alchua Co County Sheriff's Office van parked in front of Cruiser Hall. The van left campus at about 9.08 p.m. Alchua County Jail records show nine people between the ages of 20 and 26 were booked Monday night between 10.16 and 11.12 p.m. Various charges include failure to obey police, resisting arrest without violence, wearing a hood or mask on public property. Hang on, wearing a hood or mask on public property. Let me ask you a question. Since when is that actually a crime? I mean, people wanna protect themselves, especially since we just got through, uh, we're you know, still, and during the remainder of a pandemic. So, I mean, why why is wearing a mask on public property, why is that a crime? Isn't it a free country, especially on public property? Hmm. Let's continue. And it said trespassing and felony battery. It says the battery charges were filed against a student who spit on University of Florida police officer who was helping an FHP trans trooper escort another arrestee, according to arrest report. Mm, I'm having some doubts about that one. 
says on Tuesday, Fresh Take Florida reported that the eight of the nine people arrested have been released from jail. The protester charged with batteries being held in bail is set at $5,000. Um, State Rep. Yvonne Henson posted on Facebook that law enforcement should stand down and allow those involved to exercise their constitutional right to peaceful assembly and protest. Quote, I wholeheartedly condemn the actions taken by law enforcement at the University of Florida, which served to suppress the free expression of the students and may chill future peaceful demonstrations. All groups have the same right. So, that is basically what happened there. Now, as far as any students that are essentially that are being prevented, uh, that are held, you know, on bail, here is something I shared on Twitter and I'll share here. So it says nine pro-Palestine anti-genocide protesters arrested, bail, money needed, and it gives the link tree. Uh, I will give you guys the link tree if you would like to donate to uh, their bail funds. I think that's important because to be honest with you, uh, free speech should not be paywall. And so I have that there. So you guys can go to there and assist them. But yes, unfortunately, that's what we have going on right now is that uh, they are protesting a genocide and they are basically being punished for protesting genocide. Um, let's go to this article too. All right, so let's enlarge this. So I want y'all to see, it says campus protesters call on University of Florida to divest from Israeli war interests. So University of Florida students gathered on the Plaza of Americas Wednesday to support the Palestinian people and urged the University of Florida to divest from Israeli war interest. The protest was promoted by the UF divestment, di di uh, sorry. The protest was promoted by the UF divestment coalition and lasted approximately eight hours during which faculty and students delivered speeches. So faculty were involved. A counter protest of students in support of Israel occurred at the same time. The University of Florida Police Department separated the two groups. Now, This right here says a protester reads the names of slain Palestinians during the student demonstration, calling for the divestment of U.S. student uh, funds to weapons manufacturers concerning Israeli-Palestinian conflict on Wednesday, April 24th. So thousands and thousands of names. Okay. So let's continue. And it's just showing the pictures from protesters and counter protests. So I'm hoping that these students will have more success. Um, of course, you have a government, a governor that is anti free speech, like Ron DeSantis. He's no different than Greg Abbott. I'm hoping that this does not go the way of Kent State because uh, Kent State was also an anti-war protest um, that resulted in the murder of four students, three of whom were Jewish. Um, there is a massive amount of Jewish students and faculty that are also protesting this genocide And so really it should be without, you know, without saying that 
I hope the pressure is on the schools and the governors to allow the protests to be peaceful. And by allowing them to be peaceful, meaning you get the people who are the most trigger happy to stay back. And by that, I mean the police, because they're the ones that caused the violence to start in the first place. These students were doing all fine, you know, by just doing their peaceful occupation, right? But then the police show up and the next thing you know, things turn hairy. Why? Because the police are the ones that escalate the violence. And it happens time and time again. Any, any wonder why I always say defund the police, right? So what we see is all this that's happening and DeSantis wants to essentially crack down on this, but the University of Florida students are saying, <laughs> nah, nah, but. And this is why I think it's important for this to grow. You have Emory University, USC, Columbia, um, University of Michigan, you have so many different colleges that are now starting to say, you know what, we're joining in on this. I want to see HBCUs join into this fight. If you're in the HBCU, I don't care if it's FAMU, Bethune, Cookman, Howard, they're doing stuff at Howard now. Don't sleep on Howard. Um, they're, they're doing it. Uh, they're trying to do stuff at Howard, I think. Um, there, uh, Spellman, I want to see Morehouse. I want to see all of y'all look because no doubt that a lot of HBCUs also have partnerships with the Department of Defense. I would like to see you guys also demand a divestment as well because ultimately especially those of y'all at hbcus who trains the police that are bashing your heads in is it not the idf that trains our police to bash our heads in and yet you're going to stand by and allow them to to basically muffle and take away your right to free speech and to divest away from what they're doing to Palestinian people. In turn, they're using those same tactics against us. So those of you who are at HBCUs, I also encourage you as well to encourage HBCUs to divest. If there's any type of investment with Israel, it needs to stop. Remember, the way of South Africa. What happened with apartheid South Africa? Why did the apartheid end? Because they did divestment sanctions and they boycotted. This is what needs to happen with Israel. Because if Israel can stand on its own, all right, then they can do it without having the investments. What They can do it while being boycotted. Because we should not be standing with a foreign government that's committing these atrocities. Everybody wants to stand against governments that are doing atrocious things to other people except for Israel. Why is that? It should stop. It needs to stop. And that's why. I played that clip from uh, Dr. Ruha Benjamin, where she said that black faces in high places won't save us. Yeah. I think it's important for that as well. Um, let me share this as well. Um, just to help out. 
these freedom fighters. Says urgent funds needed legal defense and bail. So it talks so again about the nine pro-Palestinian protesters that were arrested. So of course they need legal defense. If you know of any attorneys that can assist with them with this, especially if you can do pro bono, I think that is also important because really this is about this is about securing your free speech. So it says, update police across the state are violently suppressing encampments. Encampments have emerged on Florida's campuses in opposition to university capacity, I'm sorry, complicity in genocide. Instead of listening to their students, University of Florida and University of South Florida have incited police to violently arrest 12 students so far. So today uh, at 8.30 a.m., they gathered at Alchua Courthouse um, at 5 p.m., which is in about 20 minutes, uh, Florida uh, FJP March at University 13. Tonight at 9 p.m., Eastern Orthodox Candlelight Prayer. So they're doing that. So this is uh, Jewish Voices for Peace. Um, is also involved in this. So if anybody says, oh my God, they're um, threatening Jewish people or they're doing all these horrible things to Jewish people, not true because Jewish people are literally involved in this. So make sure to bring that out. Let them know that a lot of these organizers are actually Jewish. Uh, a prayer is scheduled. So these are different prayers scheduled as well. So they're doing all this, you know, and it's really Jewish people, Palestinian people, and everybody in between that are actually protesting this. So if you guys would like to, you guys can actually uh, go there if you're here in Florida, especially in the Gainesville area. Wish I could, but I don't have transportation, number one. Number two, Gainesville is a ways from me. But it is very important that we stand with the oppressed. So let me share this link for you guys as well. And then if you guys want to, you guys can go and also try to assist them in any way you possibly can too. Let me go to the rock then and also put the link there in the chat. All right. So solidarity with those students. They are doing the damn thing out there. I am so proud of them. Keep fighting. Uh, and also on May 11th, that's going to be a Saturday, there's going to be a statewide protest all over Florida. I'm going to try to make it out there. And if you are in the state of Florida, I hope to see you out there, especially if you're in Orlando. So, yes, May 11th, this is going to be a Saturday. It's going to be a good day. Let's make it happen, Captain. Thank you so very much for watching my channel, and I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative, you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash jbfond. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much. And you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. Forehead kisses and have a beautiful day.